Take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics. Teaching platform, this is Mr. Mlonga, aka the teacher. My pupils calls me the teacher. We are here to do mathematics indeed. Be ready for the lesson that is coming forth. If you are new to this channel, you are welcome. Please subscribe so that every time we post a video, you are the first to be notified. We'll be posting videos every day. On the solving board today, we want to actually use product rule to differentiate this. So, even the the rule suits because this is a product. We have two terms that are being multiplied, hence they are a product. So you let this be equal to u and this be equal to v. So let's say let u be equal to 4x plus 2 and v be equal to 3 x squared minus x like that when you do that find du dx find du dx which we can still say du is equal to 4 it's the same as du dx even there find dv dx which you can still say dv is equal to 6x minus 1 Okay, so at this point, we just assigned this is equal to u, this is equal to v. Find or differentiate u with respect to x. Differentiate v with respect to x. Then from there, the rule itself, the product rule, what does it state? It states that dy over dx is equal to v du plus u d v like that so in this case we have already as portioned this as our v so in that position we put v this is u in that position we put u d u we found it d v is found also so from there you substitute you say this is equal to v it's that so you open the brackets you say 3x squared minus x like that it's a v du our du is that 4 so times 4 then plus so plus plus what are we adding we are adding u u dv our u is 4x plus 2 so 4x plus 2 then times z 6x minus 1 6x minus 1 like that after doing that i think you can now open the brackets so to open the brackets it means you are saying 4 times 3x squared it will actually give you 12x squared then you have 4 times negative x it will give you negative 4x we have opened these brackets, we are remaining with those. For this side now, what are we supposed to do in this case? For this side, we are saying 4 times 6x, then 4 times negative 1. So it's more like we are saying plus this 4x, 4x open brackets, 6x minus 1, then plus this is a 2 so 2 also times 6 x minus 1 like that we still have to open those brackets there so then in this case what we have we have this is equal to a 12 x squared minus 4 x 4 x times 6 x is going to give us 24x squared so plus 24x squared 4x times negative 1 is going to give us a negative 4x we have opened these brackets next we open the last brackets so plus 2 times 6x is going to be 12x 2 times negative 1 will be negative two like that at this point you can now collect like terms 
So if you have to collect the like terms, then you say this is equal to 12 x squared. This is x squared, so plus 24 x squared. In terms of x squared, we have collected. What about x to the power 1? 1, 2, 3. So we have negative 4 x, negative 4 x plus 12. What about just numbers? We have a minus 2 like that. Then, from that point, how do we proceed? This is 12x squared plus 24x squared. These are positive, so they will add. When they add, what are we going to have? We are going to have the 36x squared. When this is a 36x squared, what about these two? These two, this is negative 4 negative 4 but there is x so it means these two only will give us a negative 8 x then uh, this there is x there there is x there there is x here so please i made a mistake there there is x then minus 2 so plus 12 x minus 2 then from that point, we are going to say this is equal to 3, 6, x squared, negative 8, positive 12. It's more like you are saying 12 minus 8 to give you a 4. But this x, means you have positive 4, x minus 2. What do we do next? This is that 6, x squared. This is 4, x minus 2. The question is to differentiate, to find dy dx. So in short, we are saying, therefore, dy over dx is equal to 3, 6x squared plus 4x minus 2, like that. At this point, these are unlike terms. You cannot add them. You cannot subtract them. If they said uh, solve, maybe from this point you can proceed but they said actually differentiate so the answer ends at this point now to go back i could have been fast when i, I was just starting so when you are using the product rule what you do is the product is this one then the two terms that are making up this product are these so let the first term be equal to u so we said let u be equal to 4x plus 2 this 4x we did not just come up with it this 4x plus 2 it came from there then let the next term be equal to v so let v be equal to this term when v is equal to that term the next is to now find du dx okay so instead of writing du dx because of space i just said du meaning differentiating u with respect to x remember when you differentiate 4x plus 2 this is power 1 1 times 4 will give you 4 1 minus 1 will give you power 0 meaning this x will disappear so that's why we do not have x there when it comes to this one this we said let it be equal to v so find v differentiating v with respect to x in this case it will be 2 times 3 giving out 6 subtract 1 on the power it will be power 1 so the x will still exist this is just x when you differentiate it it will be 1 how does this x become 1 what actually happens is that um, if y is equal to x, it means this is to the power 1. So then dy over dx is equal to this 1 comes here to multiply. So the 1 drops, then you have x to the power 1 minus 1. So this will give you 1x to the power 0. According to indices, just like we did here, any number of variable to the power 0 is equal to 1, meaning this will eventually 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. This is how we get this one.
and this is the same way we got this for it's just that in this case the coefficient is actually four so this is how we get to this then this formula it's a very important formula you have to always remember it i'll write it the other way around the way it is written in some of the books but in some books it can be written like this so if i have to write it the other way around then it will be v du over dx plus u dv over dx this is it, how it is written in most of the books actually but in some of the books it's written like that so this is just a shortcut this is the shorter way of writing it but it's supposed to be written like that then uh, from here it's just a matter of substitution expansion collecting like terms this now at this point after this all this this is just algebra and you reach to the answer so this is the answer this marks the end of our lesson please if you have not subscribed this is the time to do so because every day we'll be posting videos and it's important that every time we post a video you are the first to be notified where you need to comment you need to ask something do not hesitate we value your support we value your contribution be it positive or negative it's mathematics all the way until jesus christ comes take a minute of your time and imagine the world without mathematics we cannot be able to calculate or count the time without the use of mathematics the calendar that we use is a product of mathematics we only get to know that this is the year 2020 by the use of mathematics by following the calendar mathematically the population of any country is a product of mathematics you only get to know that it takes nine months for a baby to be born through the use of mathematics in the medical field temperatures calculated using mathematics in the business world profit and loss is only appreciated by the use of mathematics a bricklayer uses mathematics to calculate the number of bricks needed for that construction a carpenter uses mathematics to calculate the gradient of the roof before the roof is put up a policeman has to count the number of prisoners in that police cell through mathematics a thief should be able to calculate the hypotenuse of that brick or before falling off that brick or we all need mathematics mathematics runs the world